Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Good, good. 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 Okay. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. Awesome. Coach Saban, we wanted to ask you about youth camp coming up uh, July 21st through the 25th. I'll be glad to talk about it. Hey, Coach, can you tell everyone why we chose Sean McDowell, son of world-renowned speaker and author Josh McDowell, to be our camp speaker this year? Well, I, I, I think that what we saw in him was, you know, a very big athletic guy uh, that had tremendous potential. Hey, uh, Coach, we have the Jared Espy Band coming to lead us for worship for the first time ever. What do you think their best quality as a band is? Well, I, I think probably more than anything, technique. Uh, hey coach, um, we've got Michael Waters coming to youth camp this summer, also known as the most interesting person on choir tour. Do you have any nicknames for him? No, I don't have any nicknames for him. Sure you don't. Yeah, coach, uh, obviously the youth group's been in this position before where they go off to Columbia for youth camp. What advice would you have for them this year as they go off on another camp for an exciting time? I think it's important when you play on the road that you can maintain your poise, uh, don't get affected by external factors, which is the crowd and all the other things that are going on. Coach Miles, we're working on what food we want to bring to the camp store. Do you have any suggestions? I am the easiest man to please when it comes to food. Um, I, I have to be honest, I think it's a... Uh, I think it's definitely the turkey with a warm gravy, you know, that has a little bit of salt and pepper and maybe a little bit of the uh, turkey and gravy and, and some of the stuffing that would be there and maybe just a, a smidgen of that uh, cranberry stuff. Coach Malzahn, how excited are you personally about our camp theme, Diverge? You know, i uh, got a lot of motion right now. I mean, it, it ranks up there, there's no doubt. Hey, Coach, um, I'm not sure if you've heard or not, but Chris Coley is coming to camp with us as our sound technician and personal workhorse. Do you think this is a wise move on our part? Chris is a champ. You know, he's one of our leaders. Yeah, and isn't he a hottie with a body? Yeah. You know, I don't think I've seen Chris. Well, we have, and I must say, he looks fantastic. Yeah. Coach Mazan, Ed Cleveland is coming back again this year as a camp counselor. How do you feel about him coming back? Proud of him, love him. Um, but had a lot of ups and downs, and he's all over the place. Yeah, Coach, um, Reed Grice suffered a, uh, a big injury last year before camp and wasn't able to, uh, to help out at all. Do you think he's healthy and ready to contribute this year? You know, he wants to be good, and he's coachable, and he just wants to get better. Yeah, Coach, uh, one of the topics that's come up within the youth group is wearing two-piece bathing suits to youth camp. What are your thoughts on that? It's no sense in asking about, about that. Coach, what, what about the tan lines? Chipper, where'd you come from? Don't ask me any more questions about this. Yeah, come on, come on, yeah, come on, give us a quote. Come on. We will handle it appropriately. This is an administrative issue that that our leadership will do a very, very good job of managing. If you want to talk about the Texas A&M game, I'll be glad to talk about it. Uh, actually, Coach, all we want to talk about is youth camp. Appreciate your interest in the game. Hey, Coach Miles, we have 12 teams competing this year at youth camp. What's it going to take for one of those teams to become camp champ? Uh, there's, a, there's a question on the table, Coach. Nothing? Still haven't answered the question. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Coach, thank you for your time. Okay, thank you.